All right, welcome back again. Uh, today's episode is pretty much just going to go through a couple of things that will improve your game uh, within, yeah, five, ten minutes. So I'll show you a few things, and uh, when you've got time either at home or at a club, um, practice these things and you'll improve your game very quickly. So first one is just to set up um, a ball here, white ball here, and the object ball there, and use your chalk to just put a dot there and a dot there so you can actually replace them in the exact same spot every single time. So the idea here is, idea here is to pop the red, nudge that ball, just get it out and then replace that ball. So pop that in there, knock that out and then replace that, replace that, knock that in there, nudge that out and then vice versa, so, and so on. So um, I'll just put them there. White ball there, red ball there, white ball there. And show you how it's done. Here we go. So you want to try and use the same amount of power. Every single time it just slowly moves down on the white ball. That's it. So that's that one. So all you have to do is just go up and touch them. And the reason, reason for that is you're getting used to where you're hitting the white ball. So let's just say you want to land on the ball down here, like that. You know, and let's just say you've got a shot, something like this. You can then in a game start to know um, or start to feel where the white ball's going to go. So you'll just get better at um, picking, picking spots on the table. So, you know, let's just say a shot like this, you can pretend that there was a, a ball here. You know, you can pop this and pretend there's a ball there and try and hit it. And the white ball's gonna hit there and come to here. So, just just something like, um, sort of something like this. Just like that. And then you know the white ball's gonna land, land there. So the, the idea of this drill is just getting, getting to know the white ball, getting to know uh, power and getting to know when you adjust the uh, the the shot with the white ball moving up and down, moving up and down the white ball, um, adjusting the spin from literally you know there to there to there to there to there, you can actually see the difference in the shots. So you know if I play that same shot and I want to hit up here, I just know not to hit here. Here, 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 you know, something like that. So, you know, you can you can start to get the feel. You can start to get the feel of where the white ball is going to go. So, just just little little things like that will help in a game. So, when when you play a when you play a match, you'll start to uh, understand more what's happening with the white. So, very good drill, very simple, very easy. Once you've done those four, then set them up again, and then do the reverse. So go that one, that one, that one, and that one. And then once you've completed that, you can then lay the four out. You can put one up here, two up here, three up here if you want, and then clear all four, and then go five, six, and seven, and do it that way. So um, you can make the drill as hard as you want. Start off with those four, and go from there. So that's that one. All right, the next one, going to mark two spots at this angle, so one there, Mark it on the spot there. So you're going to have a slight angle. You're going to knock the ball yellow in, come off the rail into, into that yellow, then replace it, and then into that yellow, replace it, to that yellow, replace it, into that yellow, replace it. And this now will teach you how the white ball reacts off the, uh, off the object ball, going off rails into, uh, into other balls. And even if these balls aren't here, like I said, if there's a ball up there and you want to play this ball into this pocket and come off two rails and land up there, or even come off two rails here, and then come up this end of the table, and, and then up there, then you'll start to sort of recognize those shots by playing these simple drills. Now this drill 
is for not only beginners, but it's also for players like us, players uh, at any time really, because this will always keep you in check. And um, the more and more you do this, the better you'll get and the more precise you'll get. So this is not just for beginners, but this is for everybody. Um, yeah, I'll show you how it's done. All right. First one. One. <clears throat> Again, I'm pretty much just moving, as you'll see on the diagram, I'm pretty much starting off uh, sort of like some, somewhere up there. And then as I'm playing the shots, I'm actually slowly moving across like that. So, but that's, that's for me. Now, if I hit that a bit softer, it changes, it changes the angle, it changes the way the white ball comes off the tip. Um, it also changes the way uh, the white ball comes off the cushion. So do that drill, find your own sort of soft pace and uh, give it a go. And if you stuff up, do it again. That's a whole idea of practicing. So once you've done that, again, you can put another one up here if you want, but more than likely with this drill, you won't need to do that. Just those four are enough, and then do four backwards like that. And you only need to spend 10 or 15 minutes on it, do it, complete it, and you'll feel like a million bucks. So that's that one there. All right, this is the last one. Very simple. We're gonna pop the yellow, and we're gonna come up this path, through this red, through that red, and then through this way. All by just using the center of the white. So we'll start off. I'll show you when we use stun. Okay, so this is a, this is a really good way to work out where the white ball's gonna go if you're not sure, all right? So when we have a, a pot just like this, it's just like that's going pretty much about there. So just off center, if I play stun, which is just below center, the white ball is gonna come off at 90 degrees. So pretty much it should follow that path, all right? So just for an example, if I play the shot, play stun, you can see how the white ball comes down that path. So I know now, if I play stun, I know exactly where the white ball is gonna go. It's gonna travel along this path, through there, all right? So now you can actually work out, hang on, what if I wanna pop that and go into that red? Well, you just work out where stun is. So I know stun is there. I just go a little bit higher up and I should clip into that red. So I aim for stun, a little bit higher. And there you are. So put that back there. So obviously it works on most angles. So you know if I'm if I'm playing a shot like this, it'll work like that, but obviously it won't work if I'm trying to cut that into there because you're not gonna come off at 90 degrees that way. So it does only work on certain angles, um, but once you find that sort of limit, obviously it won't work. But I know now that whenever I wanna pot a ball in there, whether it's that way or that way, or whether it's even you know in the pocket, I, with stun, I can always measure the 90 degree angle and I know where the white ball's gonna go and then I can adjust up or down. So let's say I know that stun is here, I know a little bit higher, higher than stun is here. So if I go a little bit higher, I should miss that red and go in between there. So I'll we'll start off with stun and move up a little bit. That should hit the red, move up a little bit more. And there you are, we'll go through there. So 
Now you can actually sort of work out exactly where the whiteboard's gonna go all the time. Now, give this some practice because I tell you now, you get good at doing this, your white ball will start to get better and better and better and almost be on a string. So, and this is something that I actually need to practice too a little bit more and I am actually now while, while I'm doing this with you. So, I mean, I've done, I've done my thousands and thousands of hours over the years, but at the end of the day, doing stuff like this still helps anyone, no matter what level you are you'll find that even the top level players uh, will stuff this up a little bit as well. So until they practice it, then they'll get better at it. So again, so I've, I can hit here with stun, a little bit higher, I can go into that, a little bit higher, I can go into that. So now if I play even higher, like another tip worth, a tip, uh, just a tip higher, I know I could probably miss all that and go here. So. And now, if I go back, I can do the same. So I know that stun is pretty much there. If I go a little bit lower than stun, I probably should hit this red. But if I go even lower, then I'll probably come back here. So here we go. That's it, see? So now I know where the white's going to go just by starting off with stun. So let's just say in a game, all right, doing a land on the black ball, something like this. All right, so let's just say you left that to your last ball. You go, okay, how do I work out? And I can just do this randomly. So let's just say put one there. Something like that, so it's a little bit different, whatever. Um, how do I pop that and land here? So rather than guessing, let's just work out where the stun is and the 90 degrees. So if I pop that into there, like that, now I come off at 90 degrees, probably gonna be looking at somewhere around here. And again, it all depends on how hard you hit it to and how soft you hit it. So you go hit it at a nice medium pace all the time. All right, I hope you, in, uh, I hope you enjoyed those, those three examples of uh, drills that you can do. Um, that they're, they're really important if you wanna get better and there's something that you can do for 15 or 20 minutes. You don't have to do these things for hours. 15, 20 minutes, spend about you know, 10 minutes on each drill, see how you go. You don't always have to complete them, but you will get better every time you go back to them. So give it a go, you'll improve out of sight, trust me, you'll, you'll see yourself improving. And then when you're out in the middle of a, a game and you have one sort of shot that you go, oh, okay, how, what do I need to do here? You can think back to, you know, can I use the 90, de 90 degree stun theory and see how you go. So. You know, and it will help you with playing shots like this, you know, get that, pop that ball. You know, so many people, so many people when they pop this ball and they stun up into that black, they either hit here and they go off down there or they hit it too thick and they stun the white ball all the way up here, you know. But once you start playing and doing those drills, you'll learn how to just pop this ball and nudge into that ball quite nicely. So there you are. Anyway, hope you enjoyed that. Please like and subscribe. See you on the next one.